our babysitter for what four years now mm -hmm. and we love her she's also a yoga instructor so she is going to grace us with a beginner's yoga Addie heard about it so she showed up at the studio with us today <laughs> I'm not very good at this I've never done yoga before but she's gonna teach us I'm gonna let her take over hi everyone like Jen said my name is Sarah um, I'm gonna walk you guys through a quick little flow um, from Sumit's Hot Yoga. So we're gonna start nice and easy in child's pose. So in order to get into this, you're gonna come down to your knees, bring your knees out wide, toes, can, toes may or may not touch. Socks off. Yes, take your socks off. All right, then we're going to reach our hands up and we're gonna go all the way down. Palms facing down, forehead can rest on the mat. And right here, we're just gonna breathe. Set any intentions for your practice. And just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I'll count. So we're gonna breathe in for one, two, three. Breathe out through your mouth for three, two, one. Just relaxing, melting into your mat and just breathe. On our inhale, we're gonna go ahead and come up to tabletop. Your arms are going to be right over your shoulders, your knees right above your hips. Your gaze can be out towards your mat, facing down, crown of your head, pointed out towards the wall in front of you. Right here, we're gonna take cat and cow. So for cow, you're gonna drop your belly low, sitting your tailbone high, gaze out front, chin lifted. For cat, we're going to bend our chin down to our chest, and then circle your back up, your tailbone goes down. Taking as many rounds of this, that feels good. Going back in to cat cow. And then coming back to a neutral spine, you're gonna keep your hands exactly where they are. You're going to lift your right foot, circle out your ankle. Right foot, yep. And then bring out your left hand out in front of you, circle out your wrist. Coming back down to tabletop, we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and do some cat-cow, whatever feels good. And then coming back to a neutral spine, you're gonna send your left foot out long and wide, or long, out behind you, circling out your ankle. Then lifting your right hand up, bicep by the ear, circle out your wrist. job. Coming back into tabletop and taking a couple more cat cows, just warming up your body. Our next pose, you're going to circle your toes under and then press your hips up to the ceiling. In downward facing dog, you're going to go ahead and walk your dog, so just bringing your heels closer to the mat. Biceps should be by the ears, gaze to the back wall. Good job. You're actively pressing your stomach closer to your thighs. And then on your inhale, you're going to softly walk, step, or jump to the middle of your mat. Your feet can be either um, hip width distance apart or you can bring them together, just like this. Good job. We're gonna do ragdoll. So you're gonna grab for opposite um, elbows and just sway back and forth. You can bend your knees, whatever feels good, kind of walking your dog again. Now what we're gonna do, you're gonna place your left hand down on the mat, you're gonna take a deep bend in your left leg, and then right arm up high. Gaze can follow. From here, spinal twist, you're going to go for a wrap. So you're gonna bring your hand down, reaching for the inner thigh. Exhale, you're 
you're gonna lift your arm back up and bring your hand down to the mat. Go ahead and walk out your dog again. You're now gonna place your right hand down, taking a deep bend in your right leg, left hand high. Gaze can follow. Exhale, send your arm back for a wrap, reaching for the inside of your thigh. Exhale, arm up high, placing it back down to the mat, and walk your dog. Next, we're gonna heel toe our feet together, so your toes and your ankles are gonna touch. Arms back down to the mat, we're gonna do our mini sun salutations. So on your inhale, you're gonna lift up. You can either place your arms to your shins or your upper thighs, just making your back straight and flat, okay? You're gonna exhale, release back down to the mat. Inhale, you're going to rise all the way up to the ceiling, hands go up over your head, and taking an optional back bend. Good job. Exhale, you're gonna go all the way back down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold back down to the mat. Root to rise, going all the way up to the ceiling, hands up overhead, taking an optional back bend if that feels good. And then coming back down to your mat. All right, go ahead and rise up and grab a drink. Good job, all right. Next we're gonna do our plank and then our four part flow. So you're gonna come back down to the mat into plank pose. Having a straight back, hands above your, or below your shoulders, fingers out wide. You're gonna stay here and then for our four part flow, you're gonna shift one inch forward and then lower down all the way down to your mat. Uncurl your toes and then lift your chin up high looking towards the ceiling for upward facing dog. Circle your toes back under and then send your hips up high. Coming back into plank, we're gonna do another variation. You're gonna shift one inch forward, lower down halfway, keeping your um, thighs lifted, and then come up and send your hips back up high for downward facing dog. Good job, all right, next, we're gonna walk, step, actually no, we're gonna kick our right foot up high Sending it all the way through, coming into warrior one. So hands come up, your back foot, you want it at a 45 degree angle, your heel touching the mat. Biceps by the ears, gaze forward, good job. Your front leg, it doesn't have to be at a 90 degree angle, just whatever feels good for you. This is warrior one, this is warrior one, okay? Exhale, we're gonna open up to the side for warrior two, arms come out to the side, good job. Flip your palm forward, reach, and then reverse your warrior. Your left arm can go either slide down the back of your leg or wrap around your stomach. <laughs> Exhale, come back to warrior two. Sit your um, hands down to the mat and come back into downward facing dog. Next, we're gonna lift our right or our left leg high and then sending it all the way through between your hands, coming into warrior one. So, same thing, we've done this before. Your back foot is at a 45 degree angle, biceps by the ears, gaze forward. Your shoulder and hips should be squared to the meat or the wall in front of you. Exhale, we're gonna open up to the right side of the room for warrior two. Your back foot then comes parallel to the mat your front foot can go down, whatever feels good. We're gonna flip our palm up, hinge your body one inch forward, and then reverse your warrior. This is also a side stretch, it's not a back bend, it's a side stretch, so you should be feeling it right here. Good job, coming back into warrior two, we're gonna circle our arms down, and coming back into downward facing dog. Walk out your dog, take any movement that feels good in your body. And then we're gonna walk, step, or jump to the middle of our mat. 
slowly rising one vertebrae at a time. Your head is the last to rise. We're gonna come into mountain pose, also called standing Tadasana. We're then gonna take a step back. We're gonna do warrior three. So your arms are gonna reach up over your head. We're gonna take a little baby step on our right foot. Hold, pause, and then we're gonna hinge our body forward, coming to a capital letter T. Good job. We're then going to bring our hands to our um, heart center. It's just like this, yep. We're gonna airplane wings. Coming back to heart center, straight out in front of you, good job. Coming back up, we're now gonna switch. So coming into mountain pose, sending your left foot out front, hands up over your head, and go for your capital letter T. Good job, bring your hands to heart center, airplane wings, coming back to heart center, hands out wide, good job. It's a lot of balancing, I know. All right, coming all the way up, hands up over your head, we're gonna do tree pose. Bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna shift the weight into our left foot. You can kickstand your right. And then you're gonna bring your foot to the inner thigh or inner calf. You want to avoid that knee joint as much as possible. Once you find balance, you're then gonna grow your tree. Going up. Doing any expression that feels good. You can sway in the wind. Good job. Coming back down, we're gonna do the opposite side. So shift your weight into your right leg, placing your left foot on the inner thigh or ankle, or thigh, inner thigh or calf, hands to heart, and grow your tree. <laughs> All right, bring your hands back to center. Come down, place your feet down to the mat. Take an optional bow to yourself. And now we're gonna go back into downward facing dog. So placing your hands down on the mat, walk your feet back, just walk your dog, taking any movement that feels good in your body. Remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, coming up, rising one vertebrae at a time, and grab some water. Our next portion, we're gonna do some stretches. So we're gonna start where we started this um, video. We're gonna go into child's pose. So we've been here before, Knees out to the corners of your mat. Toes may or may not be touching. And gently rest your um, body on top of your mat. Palms facing down. Forehead can rest gently on your mat. And just thinking about how your body feels now. Go back to your intention. Breathe. And then gently coming all the way up into tabletop. We're gonna do frog. So I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through frog. However, if this does not feel good, I'm gonna walk you through yogi squat. So for frog, you're gonna come to the side of your mat, your knees out wide, your toes are gonna be even wider, okay? You're then gonna rest on your forearms and just breathe. You can go back and forth. If this stretch does not feel good, I invite you to do yogi squat. So yogi squat, you're gonna do the same thing, like this. Knees, your elbows are gonna to touch your knees. And then I like to bring my hands right here, and kind of stretch my legs out, going back and forth. Good job. All right, coming, we're gonna sit on our mat and do some other stretches. You can sit crisscross. We're gonna bring our right hand across our body, grab it and stretch. Shake it out. We're gonna do the other hand, so bring your left hand across your body. Stretch. Bring your 
hands out wide, do some circles. Going forward, switch, go backwards. Very good, all right. Thank you guys so much. Again, my name is Sarah. Thank you, thank you. You did good. I hope you feel better. Release it, do it twice. We will have another one that's longer flow, and so you're gonna hold each pose. We'll be one at a beginner, maybe a medium, and then we're gonna hopefully do more of an advanced. We'll see if I get there. Good job, everybody, bye. Thank you.